Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. Today I wanna to show you how to replace a hard drive on a Mac Mini. So sometimes these things can be a little intimidating. It's fairly easy to do yourself. Uh, if you follow these instructions, you'll be able to knock it out in about five to 10 minutes, to, just depending upon how fast you go. And that's certainly gonna save you a lot of money than taking it into your local shop that's gonna charge you at least an hour labor on top of the, the cost of the hard drive. So we've got our Mac Mini. We'll just go ahead, and this is the Mac Mini unibody. In order to open it up, we're just gonna go ahead and grab the little thumb holes, twist it to the left, and that's gonna go ahead and allow us to take off the black panel, and now we've got access to everything in here. The tools we're gonna need from this point are fairly limited. So we're really only gonna need a T8 torque and a T6. So I've got my little tool with both of those on there. So what we would first do is go ahead and re remove this fan piece. This fan piece has, uh, I think, the T6 screws. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop those out now. As we lift it up, you want to unplug the fan. Be very careful unplugging that fan, just so we don't damage it. We'll go ahead and set that to the side. And then we'll go ahead and start removing this black plate right here, which is actually gonna need the T8, or I'm sorry, we'll still need the T6. There'll be one screw right down here at the bottom we'll need to get. Get that, you know what, take it out with the magnet, make sure we don't lose it. We can slide this plate out. I'm at an awkward angle here. There we go, get that all removed. Now we need to go ahead and remove the actual silver plate here. That will require the T8. Pop that out. There's gonna be four screws up here on the top. So we'll just get those real quick. lift this plate, slide it back, and as you're removing it, be very, very careful that we don't harm this cable because there is a speaker cable attached. So we're gonna go ahead and just deroute this speaker cable over on the left as it comes up. You guys can kind of see that. We'll get in here a little closer. And we're just gonna go ahead and unplug that. Let's set that part to the side. So now we basically have access to the hard drive. We can see the hard drive right up here. It's a really tight fitment, so we actually have to slide this logic board down just a little bit in order to get access to it. So there are two more screws that we need to remove. It's gonna be one right here, and it's gonna be this screw right here. So we'll use the T8 for the silver screw. E6 for the black screw. And then we need to actually get this logic board to slide down. We'll next disconnect the hard drive cable, like so, just so that it's all disconnected. And then typically there is a tool that is used. I'm trying to get a good angle. There are two holes right here. So right next to the screw you took out and just over to the other side, there's two holes on this logic board. There's a special tool that's used to actually insert and slide this logic board down. I'm gonna use two very small screwdrivers to just kind of negotiate this logic board out just a little bit and we'll go from there. Now that I loosened it, I'm just grabbing it down here and I'm sliding it. And that's really all that I wanna do. 
so I don't harm the logic board and I can actually have better access to the hard drive now. Now that we have a little bit more room, we should be able to just slide the hard drive right out and like so. All we would do from this point is remove the four screws. Actually, I guess this caddy only has two. Two screws, the hard drive cable, pop in your new hard drive, and then go ahead and reinsert, slide this panel back, and follow the instructions on the reverse side, and we'll go from there. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that, and we'll resume. And we'll resume. Okay, so I have gone ahead and grabbed my new hard drive. So I'm just going to peel this tape back right here. So I can go ahead and unplug this actual cable. If I had any nails. Take this cable off. Then we've just got this ESD, pretty important to keep on just to protect this hard drive. Take these two screws out. Okay, so now that we've removed the hard drive, we've removed our plastic ESD, we've reconnected our hard drive cable, we're gonna go ahead and reinsert it. I've always found doing it this direction is actually a little easier because this hard drive really needs to fall up into this top area where those two screws can sit in their little slots. That's a little bit easier doing it upside down in my opinion. We'll just make sure that our hard drive cable is up and then we're just gonna go ahead and slide that logic board back into place so you guys can see like so. You certainly don't have to do it that way. You just might be spending quite a few minutes trying to get this hard drive to nestle up into these, these two little grooves up here. Now that we're here, we can just continue with the reassembly. two screws that held the logic board in. This black plate. The silver plate with the, the cable that we disconnected. Just make sure you snap that back on. Your fan, always make sure you plug your fans back in.
these last two screws. If you took the ram out, make sure you just put your ram back in. And then our back plate will go right back on. Twist it like so, and we are done. As you can see, only takes a few minutes. Now we'll be able to plug it in, get it right back to going. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Let me know if you have any other questions or if there's any other tutorial videos that we can make for you. We'll see you guys soon.